Imagine a place where the mountains rise like ancient giants, their peaks shrouded in mist, hiding secrets that defy belief. What if I told you that right here in America, in the heart of Kentucky, there were people born with skin as blue as a summer sky? Not in some sci-fi movie, but in real life, tucked away in the rugged folds of the Appalachian Mountains. This is the story of the Fugate family, known far and wide as the Blue People of Kentucky. For over two centuries, they lived in near isolation, their striking blue skin a medical mystery that both fascinated and haunted those who heard their tale. What caused this extraordinary condition? How did it shape their lives, making them the talk of the town yet targets of cruel prejudice? Today, we're diving into a story that's as wondrous as it is unsettling, unraveling a piece of American history that feels like it belongs in a dream. Picture the wind whispering through the hills, carrying secrets from generations past, as we step into a world where truth is stranger than fiction. If this is your first time stumbling upon our channel, we'd love for you to join our community. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a single story. Let's journey together into the heart of this Appalachian enigma. Picture a time when the world moved more slowly, when the rugged peaks of the Appalachian Mountains stood like silent sentinels, guarding secrets of those who call this wild land home. It's 1820, and a young Frenchman named Martin Fugat steps off a creaking ship onto the shores of a young America, his heart full of dreams and his eyes set on a new life. He settles in a remote corner of Kentucky, a place where the hills rise steep and the valleys run deep, far from the bustling cities of the east. There, in a modest log cabin nestled among towering pines, he meets Elizabeth Smith, a woman with a quiet strength and a kind smile. They marry, build a life, and start a family, unaware that their union will spark a story so extraordinary it will echo through generations. You see, both Martin and Elizabeth carried a rare hidden gene, a quirk of nature called methemoglobinemia. It's a tongue twister, I know, but this condition would turn the skin of their children a striking shade of blue, unlike anything the world had seen. Not the pale blue of a cold winter's day, but a deep, vivid hue, like the sky just before dusk. This wasn't a curse or a spell, but a medical mystery that would define the Fugate family, known forever as the Blue People of Kentucky. Back then, the Appalachian Mountains were a world unto themselves. Imagine a place where the nearest neighbor might be a day's walk away, where winding trails barely cut through dense forests and rocky cliffs. There were no paved roads, no telegraph lines, and no easy way to connect with the outside world. The people here lived simply, farming small patches of land, hunting in the woods and relying on each other to survive the harsh winters and scorching summers. Families like the Fugates built their lives in these isolated hollows, their homes lit by kerosene lamps, their days filled with the rhythm of hard work and quiet evenings. But this isolation came with a catch. With so few people around, folks often married within their communities, sometimes within their own families. It wasn't unusual for cousins to wed, not out of choice but necessity, in a place where outsiders rarely ventured. This close-knit way of life, while rich in tradition, created the perfect conditions for rare genetic traits to surface, like ripples in a still pond. For the Fugates, that ripple was the gene for methemoglobinemia, passed silently from Martin and Elizabeth to their children, waiting for the right combination to reveal its startling effect. The Appalachians weren't just a backdrop. They were a character in this story. The mountains shaped the people who lived there, carving their lives with both beauty and hardship. Mornings might break with the golden light filtering through the trees, but the evenings often brought a heavy silence, broken only by the howl of the wind or the distant call of an owl. For the Fugates, this isolation meant more than just solitude. It meant their unusual trait could spread quietly, generation after generation, unnoticed by the world beyond the hills. Their children and their children's children would carry this blue skin, a mark that set them apart in ways they couldn't have imagined. Some saw it as a curiosity, others as a stigma, but to the Fugates, it was simply part of who they were. As we unravel this tale, you can almost hear the soft creak of a rocking chair on a porch. 
The distant trickle of a creek or the gentle notes of a piano drifting through the air, carrying the weight of a time long gone. The Fugate story isn't just about a medical oddity. It's about a family bound by love, shaped by their land, and caught in a web of isolation that made them both remarkable and misunderstood. If you're new to our channel, we're thrilled to have you here sharing these forgotten pieces of American history. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join us for more stories that bring the past to life. Now, let's step deeper into the world of the blue people of Kentucky, where the truth is as captivating as the mountains themselves. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment one below to let me know that you are still here with me. As the mist hung low over the Appalachian Hills, the Fugate family carried a secret that set them apart, one written in the very color of their skin. Their blue hue wasn't the stuff of folklore or fairy tales. It was a medical mystery called methemoglobinemia, a rare blood disorder that turned their skin a striking shade of blue, like a twilight sky captured in human form. Imagine your blood, the life force that courses through your veins, unable to carry oxygen the way it should. That's what methemoglobinemia does. It's caused by a glitch in hemoglobin, the molecule that ferries oxygen to every corner of your body. When it fails, the skin takes on a blue tint, a visible sign of a hidden struggle. Martin and Elizabeth Fugate, those pioneers who settled in Kentucky's rugged back country in 1820, both carried this rare recessive gene. By a twist of fate, four of their nine children were born with skin as blue as a mountain stream, a trait that would mark their family for generations. It wasn't a sickness in the way we think of disease. No fever, no pain, just a startling difference that made them stand out in a world that wasn't always kind to those who were different. Among the few gates, stories of resilience and quiet strength emerged, none more striking than that of Luna Fugate. Born with skin so blue, it was said her lips looked like bruised plums. Luna lived a full, vibrant life, raising a family and tending to her home in the shadow of the mountains. She passed away at 84, a testament to the fact that this condition, while unusual, didn't dim her spirit or shorten her days. Neighbors whispered about her, some with awe, others with judgment. But Luna carried on, her life a quiet defiance of the stares and murmurs. Fast forward to 1975 when a boy named Benjamin Benji Stacy came into the world, his skin glowing an almost electric blue. The doctors in the hospital were baffled, their textbooks offering no answers for this newborn who looked like he belonged in a science fiction tale. Benji's birth sparked renewed curiosity, drawing the attention of medical minds determined to unravel the mystery of the blue people of Kentucky. His story, like Luna's, wasn't just about a rare condition. It was about a family living their truth in a world that didn't always understand. The turning point came in the 1960s when a determined doctor named Madison Coween stepped into the story. Picture a man in a white coat poring over medical journals in a small Kentucky office, driven by a need to solve the puzzle that had captivated and confounded so many. Coween discovered that methemoglobinemia was the culprit a condition that could be tamed with a simple yet remarkable treatment, a drug called methylene blue. When injected, it worked like a key unlocking a hidden door, restoring the blood's ability to carry oxygen. For the Fugates, it was nothing short of a miracle. Imagine the moment when a family member, perhaps one who'd lived their whole life under curious gazes, watched their skin shift from blue to a warm, rosy hue. It wasn't just a physical change. It was a chance to step out from the shadow of being different, to feel a little more at home in their skin. Carween's work didn't erase the Fugate's history, but it gave them hope, a bridge between their isolated world and the broader one beyond the mountains. This chapter of the Fugate story weaves together the marvel of science and the heart of human experience. It's about a family who faced whispers and wonder, yet lived with dignity in a place where the mountain stood as both shield and barrier. If you're new to our channel, we're honored to share these tales of America's hidden corners with you. Please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join us for more journeys into the past. Let's keep exploring the lives of the blue people of Kentucky, where science and story collide in the most unexpected ways.
In the quiet hollows of the Appalachian Mountains, the Fugate family's blue skin was more than a medical curiosity. It was a mark that set them apart, a badge that drew whispers and wary glances from those around them. Imagine living in a small, tight-knit community where every face is familiar, but your own stands out in a way that invites suspicion rather than warmth. For the Fugates, their striking blue hue wasn't just a quirk of biology. It became a social curse, a barrier as real as the rugged peaks that surrounded their home. Neighbors, bound by the customs and fears of a simpler time, often saw the Fugates as other. Each sidelong glance, each hushed conversation behind a calloused hand, was a silent wound, pushing the family further into the shadows of their isolated world. This stigma wasn't just cruel, it shaped their lives in ways that went beyond the visible. In a place where outsiders were rare, the Fugates, already cut off by geography, found themselves marrying within their kin, a choice born of necessity that only deepened the genetic trait that made them so distinct. Their blue skin, a marvel to us now, was a heavy burden then, one that carried the weight of judgment and misunderstanding. Yet, the Fugate story isn't just about one family in one corner of Kentucky, it's a thread in a larger tapestry, a reminder of what happens when isolation takes hold. Across the globe, other communities have faced similar fates, their lives shaped by the same forces of geography and culture. Think of the remote tribes in the Amazon, where dense jungles create worlds apart from the modern age, or the Bedouin villages scattered across desert sands, where tradition binds families close. In these places, just like in the Appalachians, isolation can amplify rare genetic traits, sometimes with consequences that ripple through generations. The Fugate's blue skin was a stark example, but it points to a broader truth. Diversity in our genes, much like diversity in our communities, is a strength. When people stay too close, cut off from the wider world, quirks of biology can take root, sometimes in ways that mark a family for centuries. The Fugate story asks us to consider the cost of isolation, not just in bloodlines, but in the way we treat those who seem different, whose lives don't fit the mold we know. This tale, born in the misty hills of Kentucky, carries a lesson that resonates far beyond its borders. It's a call to look past the surface, to see the humanity in those who stand out, whether by the color of their skin or the shape of their story. The Fugates weren't just the blue people. They were mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, people who loved and laughed and lived through hardships we can scarcely imagine. Their isolation, both chosen and imposed, reminds us of the power of connection, of reaching out to bridge divides rather than letting them widen. In a world that often feels fractured, their story is a quiet plea for understanding, for embracing the differences that make us human. It's a reminder that every community, no matter how remote, is part of a larger whole, and that our strength lies in weaving those threads together. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment one below to let me know that you are still here with me. As the notes of a gentle melody rise, carrying the weight of the Fugate's journey, we're left with a story that's as much about hope as it is about struggle. If you're joining us for the first time, we're grateful to have you here, exploring these hidden chapters of America's past. Please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay with us for more tales that uncover the heart of history. The Fugate story, with its blend of mystery, hardship and resilience, invites us all to reflect on what it means to belong, to be seen and to find our place in a world that's always more connected than it seems. As the sun dips below the Appalachian Hills, casting a warm glow over the valleys where the Fugate family once carved out their lives, their story lingers like a melody that refuses to fade. The blue people of Kentucky were more than a medical marvel. They were a testament to the human spirit, living with courage in the face of isolation and misunderstanding. Their striking blue skin, born of a rare genetic quirk, wasn't just a curiosity. It was a mirror reflecting the power of community or the pain of its absence. The Fugate's journey teaches us that differences, whether in our blood or our lives, are not barriers, but bridges waiting for us to cross with open hearts. When we embrace diversity, when we reach out to those who seem apart, we don't just heal bodies. 
We mend the invisible divides that keep us from being whole. Their story, tucked away in the folds of Kentucky's mountains, reminds us that connection is the lifeblood of humanity, as vital as the oxygen that courses through our veins. Today, the Appalachians hum with life. Children laugh in open fields, neighbors share stories over cups of coffee, and communities thrive by weaving their differences into a richer tapestry. The Fugate's legacy lives on, not in their blue skin, but in the lesson that we're stronger together. What do you take from their tale? How can we build bridges in our own lives? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join our journey through America's hidden stories. Let's continue to explore the past, find wisdom in its whispers, and celebrate the connections that make us human.